and this month on the Unsquared Circle, Titans Clash, Hogan vs. Flair Down Under, and TNA's Big Botch with Playboy. Here are the hosts who bring you the true face of pro wrestling, Bobby Black, Wesley White, and Anonymous Angel. So what are you doing after the show? Not you. Burn. Bobby, you were filming. Oh, um... Hi, and welcome to the October edition of the Unsquared Circle. I am Bobby Black. And I'm Anonymous Angel. And unfortunately, Wesley White could not make it here to film the top stories because, um, well... He was hitting on me and I had to hit him with his bat. Yeah, the surgeons are still removing that from... Bobby, his... less jerk, more diva. Alright, fine. <laughs> well, I want to thank all of my new friends on MySpace for adding me. I just want to tell you to... Enjoy my show, or the show, my show. It's the same thing. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess it's time we move on to the top story. Do I have to put shock collars on you guys to get some work done around here? You're in trouble. Biting grumpy. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> what? I'm going to list off a bunch of names, and then I want you to tell me what they have in common. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. All right. We've got Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair. Old. I'm not done. Oh. Ken Kennedy, Brutus Beefcake, The Nasty Boys, Jimmy Hart, The Godfather Charles Wright, Sean Morley, Gangrel, Umaga, Orlando Jordan, Rikishi Fatu, Shannon Moore and Black Pearl. They, my fair sweet angel, are all on the Hulkamania Let the Battle Begin Tour coming to Australia in November. You're right. What do I win? The next fact. The biggest selling point, however, will be the opportunity to see two of the biggest legends in wrestling history returning to the ring to renew an old rivalry. Hulk Hogan versus Ric Flair. Woo! You're such a dork. I am. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit about the WWE. Since the WWE is in talks with Hall of Famer and most awesome wrestler of all time, might I add, Bret the Hitman Hart, the WWE has been trying to get him to return for years, ever since his the, the Montreal Screwjob in 1997. Although, if Hart would return to the WWE, he said that he would be coming back for a full-blown storyline, maybe even coming back as a guest journal manager. Uh, Vince McMahon had previously said in 2006 that he would face Bret Hart in a street fight, which never happened, and Hart was originally planned to team with Shawn Michaels in 2006, which I'm pretty sure is the year he was inducted into the Hall of Fame, and he was supposed to tag team with the guy who screwed him in the Montreal screw job, Shawn Michaels, but Bret Hart backed out, and then Shawn Michaels was forced to team with God, which was probably one of the worst storylines in WWE history, I have to say. God? Yeah, he tagged him with God. Like, God, God? God, God. He tag teamed with God? Yeah. Sorry. Moving on. Anyway, they are talking about doing a new Bret Hart DVD, and if Bret Hart is in fact going to return to the WWE for storyline purposes, then they will probably release the DVD right around that point. Can they leave God out of it this time? Yeah, they can. I hope they do at least. That was a pretty crappy storyline. Good. So, Bobby. Yes? Did you know that Tracy Brooks was supposed to grace the cover of Playboy magazine in November? Yes, Grumpy Cheeto told me that. Did you know why she didn't? No. Why? Because TNA... She's a China face? Because TNA didn't push her hard enough when they were supposed to. And so, no one really cared if she was on it. So Playboy decided to only put her on their cyber club, where only people that are going blind by looking at the computer too much, looking at porn, are going to see her. Yeah. Too bad for Tracy. And Grumpy Cheeto. He's gonna go blind soon. Oh. That's for sure. 
Alright, well, during one of SmackDown's recent tours in Puerto Rico, two huge, Smack, two huge stars got into an altercation in the backstage. Apparently one star thought that the other star was using too many of his trademark moves. Was it the great Kali and Big Show? How did you know? It's on the line. You an enormous man. I'll tell you what. Yes, that's right. In Puerto Rico, the great Kali and the Big Show got into an altercation backstage where fists were thrown. And apparently, the Big Show started, because he's a hothead, and um, the great Kali re blocked the shot and retaliated and knocked the Big Show on his butt with the help from somebody's bag on the ground. But still. And then, of course, the Kali... Uh, beat the crap out of the big show and other wrestlers had to separate them. So it was a pretty big altercation in the back. The wrestlers, right? Yes. So why would they separate them if they're wrestlers? Uh, they weren't getting paid to fight. And so? Moving along. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone win? I mean, wasn't it scripted? <laughs> I would say <laughs> I would say no. And just in case if you missed it on our U2C update, one of the charges Jeff Hardy was faced with was opium trafficking, which carries a mandatory sentence of 3 to 14 years, even for first offenders. And Jeff Hardy is a multiple-time offender of me, because I don't like him. Um, but this is only one of the charges that he faces. So, in other words, Jeff Hardy's probably going to jail for some time. So, all you people who like Jeff Hardy... Took it! Um, the list currently follows as... Hot. I'm just saying. Anyway, he has a long list of charges. Um, and apparently the WWE was going to be publishing a Jeff Hardy DVD in the near future. But the census are says therefore canceled it. So we don't know if they're going to release in the future or not. But sorry, it Jeff. it sell better. No, it wouldn't. Scandal sells. Yeah. Anyway, that's all for our top stories. Now let's move on to our individual segments. On to my news. Wesley White's Entertainment. Dub dub. First off, WWE now feels that their Hall of Shame ceremony has become big enough that they don't need to induct huge names every year. WWE believes they will be able to induct mid-card legends rather than past main eventers like The Croc or Randy Nacho Man Savage. WWE feels that they can safely get away with many mid-carders like they did with The American Dream a few years ago. Also, and a bit of news that most certainly will not please WWE executives, WWE Breaking Point livestream was the most searched for term on Google.com at around 10 p.m. Eastern Hour, which means people were downloading that pay-per-view for free and not paying anything for it. Um, furtherly, on WrestlingInsider.com, they are reporting that a huge WWE name is considering joining TNA. The person in question is good old JR Jim Ross. His contract expired, well, with the World Wrestling Entertainment is set to expire at the end of the year, and company officials have yet to offer him a new one. It should be noted, however, that Ross is considering all of his options, and joining TNA is very much a possible, possible scenario, scenario he's taking very seriously. He could just as well stay in WWE, though. You never know. Spandex! 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 Look at that! Hoochie! Hoochie! I mean, Luke, Luke, Lucha Libre! Anyways, um, WWE has um, released a statement on its website saying that Linda McMahon has resigned from the WWE to be able to run for the U.S. Senate. Linda will be representing, will be representing the state of Connecticut, and Mr. McMahon will be the CEO until further notice. Um, during a recent interview with ESPN, Ted DiBiase said that his end goal while he was in the WWE is to end The Undertaker's undefeated streak at WrestleMania. Booker! Last year, when DiBiase first arrived in the WWE, there was talk that he may be built up to a fast rising star to possibly end the dead man's reign over WrestleMania. This year, however, has been a slight cha plan change. Yeah, if you can't tell, he's feuding with DX right now with Cody Rhodes. Um, and lastly of my news, 
former WWE star. I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right. Bear with me. Sylvan Grenier. I, Sylvan Grenier. Yeah, whatever. Guy from La Resistance. Was backstage at the WWE Breaking Point PPV, which is pay-per-view. For all you people that don't know what that stands for. Attempting to get a tryout to return to the company. He was also at Raw the following night with the same intention. According to the source, WWE officials did not give him a tryout. What a pity. All right. Kids, that about wraps it up for the true face of the WWE, Wesley White's Entertainment. Break the wall, 